Genesis chapter 27, verse 20. And Isaac said unto his son, Jacob, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he, Jacob, said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Now let me say Jacob's response in, in light. And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. No, he didn't. You liar. And in the realm of television preaching and the realm of, of you know, when you go into the, I was amazed. I went to a books, bookstore, uh, proper name one, to get some books from my daughter. And I went in the religious section. <laughs> and we live in a day of the lad of seeing that everybody can do what Jacob did. The Lord provided for me. And it's outright a lie. There's even a place, I believe Jeremiah, that God says, and they, they speak saying, thus saith the Lord. And look, God's like, I didn't say nothing to him. So we got to watch out. We got to try the spirits. And we got to realize that there are imitators. There are liars out there. That will say, because the Lord thy God brought it to me. The Lord thy God has given it to me. The Lord is blessing this congregation. The Lord has sent me to come to you. The Lord has opened up my uh, whatever to, that I am doing that the Lord has been involved. And the Lord is in it. And outright, at the judgment seat of Christ or at the great white throne judgment, that person and persons and people will be declared outright liars. You can't believe everyone that opens up their mouth. I'm sorry, you can't. And when you're talking about ministry, when you realize what Paul, in the second letter to the Corinthians, when he writes to him, say, listen, Satan is as an angel of light. And then the next verse, no marvel for his ministers. And his ministers will open a Bible and declare the words of God wrongfully because Satan is the father of lies. He's the liar, John 8, 44, and so are his ministers. And we got to try them out. We've got to study our Bibles to, to declare the person we're listening to, the person that is speaking, Isaac didn't try it out. And Isaac had his doubts. Are you sure, my son? Let me feel you. Let me. <clears throat> Isaac did not go into full realm of, of and, and now, and now yeah, a studying and looking to who is this person standing before me? Is it truly my son Esau? And it wasn't. And he, in verse 24, he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, Jacob said, I am. You liar. And I'm here to tell you that not all, don't you think I'm saying all, but there are people on, on television, there are people on the radio, there are people standing behind podiums, there are pastors and preachers who are liars. And they have their Isaacs that listen to them faithfully. And there are some Isaac who doubt and don't and analyze the evidence more and more to come to the conclusion. That's wrong. You cannot believe every person that says, thus saith the Lord. When in doubt, Isaac, check them out. I, hey, listen, I, I've sat under priest, preachers, pastors, and listened to men preach, and uh, I'm sorry, I found some of them to be liars. I found some of their conduct to be lies. Just because they carry on the, the realm of religion, Jezebel had 450 prophets of Baal, and they were liars. There were false prophets 
And God said in heaven, who, who, is, who will go for me that we might deceive the king in dying? And came forth a lying spirit. And God said, go. I believe that lying spirit was the devil. God will give you a lying spirit. God will give you a lying priest, a lying pastor, a lying uh, evangelist, somebody, a liar. Because that's what you want. You want the lies. You don't want the truth. And it, well, yes, no. If you pay attention to the media, you don't want the truth. Because the media is not going to give you the truth. And, well, you know, the false news, the fake news and all that. Yeah, and also there may be false and fake preaching and words coming out of pastors, preachers, whatever you want to call men of the ministry. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. We are called to study our Bible so that we might examine the facts. Paul found them some to be liars. Paul found them to be false prophets. There was a church in, in the book of Revelation. They, they, they were people who confessed to be apostles and they found them not. They found them to be liars. We're not to promote the Jacobs. The Lord thy God has sent me. The Lord thy God has put me here. Well, when the Lord called me here, no, he did not. There's another thing, too, I want to point out within a few minutes we got. He says, because the Lord thy God brought it unto me. Now, Isaac asked for venison, verse 3. Now, venison in, in America is purely deer meat. And in general, the Bible means venison it is any wild game that is hunt. And it, it, it's no problem. You look up 1828 Webster's Dictionary. Never mind the Greek. And you'll find that those two definitions, one American purely deer meat and then the regions of the Bible, anything that's wild game. And then we find out that uh, Rebecca comes up with a little deceiver that she is. And she gives verse nine. Two kids of the goats. She prepares goat meat, not venison for Jacob to help deceive daddy. And that's a whole nother message. But what I want to look at is the Lord that God brought it to me. Well, first of all, you brought the wrong meat. And when you got a false prophet, a false preacher, a false teacher, a false man behind a pulpit, behind a podium, trying to teach out the Bible, and he's not teaching the Bible. He's a liar. He's an ambassador of Satan or self and man. He's giving the people the wrong meat. Isaac wanted venison, wild game. And what he gave Isaac, his father, was goat meat. There's a difference between goat meat and sheep meat. When you are not feeding the Christians sheep food, for they are sheep, you are feeding them goat food to entertain the world. All are welcome here. You're not doing your job properly. Sheep require sheep food, not goat food. Isaac ordered venison. He got goat food. He got a, a message that, of salvation for all to come forward and raise your hands and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Friend, that's wrong. And then number two, final seconds we got. The Lord thy God brought it to me. The Lord thy God, who, prevared, who provided the meat? Jacob's mother gave the food. At that moment, Jacob saying, God is mother. You mean Mother Catholic Church? When her meat is a wafer of a Jewish body that they proclaim to be the literal body and the literal blood of Jesus. That's not what Isaac wanted. That's what people, people don't need the literal body and blood of Jesus. They need sheep food. They don't need goat food for the lost. They need sheep food. 
And your food better not come from mother. It better truly come from God the Father. Now Jacob proclaimed it came from God. It did not. It came from mother. Jacob proclaimed that this is the medicine that, thou, that you asked for. Um, verse 19. I am Esau, that firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Sit and eat of my venison. That was not venison, my friend. That was goat food. Jesus separates the, the, the people from the goats, from the sheep. The goats are lost. The sheep are saved. And one of the problems of, of, of the churches today in the lives of seen church age is the Christians are getting goat food, the lost food. And they're not getting sheep food. They're not getting fed. That's a cinch. And it came from God. No, it didn't come from God. Because God wouldn't starve his bride. God would nourish and provide and give his bride all the food that she needs. God would not continually give her his bride, Jesus Christ, the bride, food of the lost. Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel. He didn't say go into the church and preach the gospel. The fact is, we have a man here, Jacob. God gave it to me. Yes, I am. I am Esau. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a liar. That's what you are. And God will proclaim your lying if you don't repent and get right with God and turn from your wicked ways. Now, Jacob's going to sow that low's lies later on. And you continue your lies. You continue to listen to lies. You're going to reap and sow. If you don't repent of those lies, if those people don't repent of, their, of those lies, they're going to stand in the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment and stand guilty. And I'm here to tell you, just because a, a man or woman gets up and says, God, check them out. When in doubt, check them out. 